All right, guys, let's talk about Kathleen Kennedy and why I believe she's never going to go anywhere until she actually walks out of Lucasfilm on her own. I don't think she's going to get fired. I think the first thing you have to do when you look at something like this is look at this. Just look at the facts. She's still there, right? She's still in the position that everyone wants her out of. I mean, myself included. But after The Force Awakens came out, there was there were some small rumors about her possibly going away. A lot of people didn't like her then after that had happened. But then after The Last Jedi came out, it exploded and everyone had a source and everyone knew that she was going to get fired. Guys, this has gone on for almost eight years and she hasn't been fired. Right after the first rumor, which I naively kind of believed, I went, wow, this guy has a source. I'm going to I'm gonna follow it and, and she's going to be gone and Star Wars is going to be saved. About two weeks after this video that I watched, I went, uh, yeah, this is all crap. They don't actually understand what's going on. And what you have to understand about why she's still there, but it's really the most important thing you have to understand about why she's still there. Um, Disney, Bob Iger, they are activists. It is an activist organization. And what do activists do? They, gave, they give other activists positions so that their message can be put out there. It's that simple. It really is. These are people who operate within the Marxist realm of activism. They really push forward the agenda that Antonio Gramsci put forth in his papers that he wrote in a prison back in the 1920s. And I think he died in 1927 or it might have been 37 when he died. He didn't like the way that um, um, Lenin was slaughtering people to get his point across and so he became the good marxist and came up with a system of revolution that robin mark phillips has written about beautifully in his books uh, saints and, and scoundrels he um talks about how gramsci put this into play a long time ago and how the frankfurt institute of marxism moved from germany in 1937 to the shores of america specifically at columbia university and then spread to berkeley so they had anchors on two sides of the country and just spread their message inward i do videos on gramsci i've talked about gramsci he's the most important player in all of this yes oligarchical hier hierarchy has a lot to do with this as well but gramsci is the is the driving force behind it um, the two have met each other in the middle and it's it's a it's a horrible place to be but why is this important to kathleen kennedy because she's one of them she absolutely is she's the most powerful woman in hollywood a few angry youtubers a million angry youtubers aren't going to get rid of her and i don't think anyone's going to get rid of her bob Iger's not going to get rid of her like i said he is an activist it's awesome to see people finally on board with this understanding it things that i explained for years and years and, and years ago before this you know, you were called nutty, you were called a conspiracy theorist, when all you were doing was pointing out facts that Antonio Gramsci exists, communism exists, and it's moved to America. It's as simple as that. These people are that. They are powerful. If you've watched the videos from um, so many great YouTubers showing the leaked footage of the um, DEI board talking to Bob Chapik about their drive to push this agenda forward, no matter what, if you've watched that, then you can understand fully that these people aren't going anywhere. People like Kathleen Kennedy won't be fired. She will leave when she wants to. And that sucks. Just, again, look at the facts. This is a woman who has lost this company billions of dollars. Disney is really the first sort of boycotted company. And it's lost $130 billion. We're talking about an amount of money that actually... Uh, most third world countries don't make in a year that she's lost this. She's helped to lose this company and they don't care. Activists don't care about money. They'll take an entity. They will burn it to the ground all in the name of getting their point across their name, their ideology across. And their ideology is very clearly Marxist. Some people call it woke. It's the same thing. But that's what I think of this whole mess. She's not going anywhere. And it sucks because I loved Star Wars. I, I mean, I loved the old school Star Wars. Um, I got a confession to make. I haven't watched the original movie since The Force Awakens. I can't. I can't stand to watch what they did with my favorite characters of all time. It's just, it's disgusting to see how they, how she specifically treated it. She, her hatred for men is just unreal. Deconstruct, dehumanize, and destroy uh, anything that has to do with men, or as they call it, the patriarchy. The reality is that this is a woman who drives things forward with Marxism. She uses Marxist propaganda techniques, and it's it's absolutely disgusting. I've made a couple videos 
about Star Wars and how this stuff has inundated it and why. And that includes uh, a show called Andor, which a lot of people liked and I, I simply don't get. You'd have to see my video on it to understand why. But again, I, I think the facts are that she's not going anywhere. I think we have that evidence. I think it's just blindingly clear. When you lose $130 billion and you're still there, this includes Iger and Kennedy, but we're talking about Kennedy, she's still there. I mean, what more evidence do you need? Now, if I am proven wrong on this, I'll come out with a video and tell you guys you were right. If she gets fired, fine, that's cool with me. I don't mind doing that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And that's an important part of life, I think, is to admit when you're wrong. But I don't think I'm going to be on this. I think Kathleen Kennedy is there until she walks out. And I don't want to see people spin it when she walks out. No, she was forced out. She was fired. Nope. Be honest about it. When she walks out, she walks out when she wants to. She's the most powerful woman in Hollywood. Make no mistakes about it. Unfortunately for us, disgustingly, really, she's not going anywhere. Uh, tell me what you think about it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. Please, if you don't mind, subscribe. I'd love to see this channel grow. Grow with me. I hope to be doing some podcasts or some uh, uh, video casts, whatever you want to call them soon. Um, but please hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Leave some comments below. Peace.